So this is border security. By signing the executive orders today, President Trump has begun the implementation of the most populist theme of his incendiary election campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. This evening he addressed the Department of Homeland Security, confirming he would order the construction of a massive wall on America's southern border. The Secretary of Homeland Security, working with myself and my staff, will begin immediate construction of a border wall. America already deports those who are in the country illegally. Half a million were sent back over the border last year. But President Trump is now promising to ramp up that effort. As I've said repeatedly to the country, we are going to get the bad ones out, the criminals and the drug deals and gangs and gang members and cartel leaders. The day is over when they can stay in our country and wreak havoc. Are you ready? That promise to build the wall was the pledge that electrified his crowds. We will build a great wall along the southern border. And he always insisted American taxpayers would not foot the gigantic bill. And who's going to pay for that wall? The current barrier is a mix of wall and fencing that stretches a few hundred miles. Trump is planning to extend it along the entire 2,000 mile border at a cost of tens of billions of dollars. Mexico that way, US of A that way. But border agents have told me that the tunnels used by migrants and drug couriers that we saw ourselves this summer will always frustrate their efforts to seal the frontier. Even a high wall can often be climbed. Just look at these drug smugglers effortlessly scaling it. There is also an imminent executive order that will block the arrival of refugees from countries like Syria and Iraq. Immigration activists call that a shocking message to the world. I think President Trump's executive orders are an assault on the American dream, our values and our culture as a nation. In addition, the White House has just issued a draft proposal to reopen the CIA's black sites, those covert interrogation centers used to hold Islamic militants. In the past, it was in these locations that waterboarding was used, a technique Trump has long championed. Today, the Commander-in-Chief repeated his belief, for which there is little evidence, that torture is an effective interrogation tool that can keep America safe. When ISIS is doing things that nobody has ever heard of since medieval times, would I feel strongly about waterboarding? As far as I'm concerned, we have to fight fire with fire. I have spoken as recently as 24 hours ago with people at the highest level of intelligence, and I asked them the question, does it work? Does torture work? And the answer was yes, absolutely. But one man who knows what it's like to be tortured, former Vietnam POW John McCain, warned that reviving waterboarding would be disastrous and illegal. Any military leader you respect have said, we should not torture people, and I'm, I'm very confident that it wouldn't stand a day in court if they tried to restore that. We pray that the hearts of those... Tonight at the White House, it was immigration activists who were protesting, saying they will never abandon America's core values. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.